Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Over This World from Alex Pandrea and the Blue Crown. What is it? Basically, it's Alex's version of Out of This World. And uh, it's a routine where you separate reds and blacks and uh, in this routine, you can even allow your spectators to do it. You wanna see what it looks like? This is it. Hello everybody, I'm Alex Pandrea and welcome to Over This World. Over This World is my take on Paul Curry's Out of This World. Everybody has their different versions and I put together over the years a three phase routine using the concept of separating out red cards from black cards. In the first phase, the cards are shuffled up and cut by the spectator multiple times. Cards are taken out one by one from anywhere that they want and you're able to tell if it's red or black. After calling out the colors of the cards, you then proceed to outjog every single red card and separate them from the blacks. For the last phase, the spectators actually deal out to themselves all the black cards, separating them from all the red cards, both at the same time. All right, so that was Alex Pendria. Uh, the basic routine uh, of Over This World is you're using a shuffled deck, it's handed to a spectator. They, they then remove a card from anywhere in the deck without looking at it, and you don't touch it at all, and you're able to divine if it's black or if it's red. Uh, they can do it multiple times, they can even cut the cards, they can pass the cards to another spectator, and they can cut the cards, and you are always able to divine whether it's red or black. Uh, it can be repeated as many times as you want, and then for the finale, the Magician is able to separate the cards sight unseen um, into reds and black piles. They fan the cards and all the colors are separated. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our Magic products, the first of which is what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, nothing, you get a DVD and a DVD case. Uh, this trick is entirely done in your hands, your spectator's hands. It doesn't require any gimmicks or gas or special trapdoors or smoke or mirrors. Is it what I thought? Uh, it's not what I thought. Um, I have seen some uh, different versions of Out of This World, and uh, I do one that I really like. Uh, this requires uh, a little bit of advanced setup, but uh, it's nothing that any magician that has known this plot before uh, would be unfamiliar with. How are the angles? Uh, the angles are flawless. There aren't any angle issues with this routine. Can it be inspected? There's really nothing to inspect. Uh, you're doing this with a normal standard deck, and of course, once the routine is over, the deck is separated into blacks and reds, so there's probably nothing for them to find. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, this was all shot inside of a home that's very beautiful. Uh, Alex is wearing all white, and uh, the performance videos are a little strange. They seem like they're a little grainy. It's kind of done uh, with a steady cam, and it's a little bit, you know, shaky. And then when you get to the reveals, it's all done kind of straight down on the table, and you get to see all of Alex's moves and uh, it's really uh, well shot. How much practice is this gonna require? Uh, not much, this is almost an uh, entry level trick. Uh, the setup on this is not difficult and I think uh, a couple times through and you should be able to figure it out pretty easily. How much setup and reset is there? There is some advanced setup. Uh, it will require you to do some secret moves off camera. <laughs> but as far as reset goes, there probably won't be any at all. What are the positives to this? I think the positives lie in the first part where you're able to pass the deck around and have people cut the cards and you're able to divine if it's red or black. Uh, you could do that five, 10, 15 times if you wanted and, and be right every single time with no guesswork. Uh, that's a pretty cool uh, little routine there and just the, the out of this world kicker is just a bonus. Negatives, all right, so what are some of the negatives? Uh, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, like I said earlier, the performance videos are strange. I don't know why they're kind of shaky and there's like these grainy lines in between them. Uh, I guess they're just trying to transition from one aspect to the other. It was just a little, I don't know. It was just kind of, it broke the mood for me to have the camera switch and so, but that has nothing to do with the magic, nothing to do with the content. Uh, don't let that deter you from picking this up. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, the DVD is 33 minutes long. Uh, and again, it is one trick, it's one effect. And it's basically an out of this world effect. And so uh, you need to decide whether you want to learn another out of this world effect that's not uh, self-working. It does require some setup, um, but it is you know, a stunner. I think there is some uh, pow here. There is some really cool magic elements. There is some really cool magic moments in this. And so uh, you'll have to decide if the price tag is worth it for you. Who would like this? I think anybody who collects. 
out of this world tricks or someone who's wanting to do an out of this world trick and you are a fan of Alex Pendrea or the Blue Crown, I think would definitely like this. Uh, like I said, it's hyper visual at the beginning. That first element is pretty doggone cool. And so, uh, yeah. All right, so that was Over This World from Alex Pendrea and the Blue Crown. Uh, this DVD was provided for us by the wonderful people down at Murphy's Magic Supplies, and we want to thank them for allowing us to review this for you. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic dealers. Thanks. Bye.